Well, hey everybody, this is Buddy. There's my bicycle by the church sign. So, this is Smyrna Church on Smyrna Road. And this is my second lap. So, I wanted to get a picture and make a video to talk about. Well, anytime I'm talking, I'm praying to my Father God. And my father has blessed me with the ability to have great peace and actually ability to heal my body and rebuild it and, and become that that I say I am. So I am becoming exactly what I've been saying and that I've been becoming. I'm becoming... That of a 21-year-old elite Olympic athlete specializing in decathlons and triathlons. I am becoming that on a cellular level, manufactured with the love and peace of Christ that lives within each atom. So Emily Limley taught me, she was 87 when I met her, and she was 97 when she laid her body down. And, but she taught me to speak life to my atoms, my cells, my DNA. She said she had been doing it for so many years and she could only reverse because she had started when she was pretty old. And when she got the understanding of it, her and Tupelo Joe Turner, he was, uh, he was 91 when I met him. I met Emily first and then I met Tupelo Joe Turner. Both of them were evangelists. They were assembly of God, church of God. They had the cards, you know, they, they were preachers from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And uh, so if I can do anything for anybody, it's to tell them never, never talk bad about yourself. Never curse yourself. Never have a thought about hurting yourself. You're divinely loved and you're blessed and you you have already given been given the gift of forgiveness for whatever you've ever done. It's all done through Christ and supposedly at the cross. We'll learn more and more about the cross as we go along. But um, actually all of this happened before the foundation of this matrix world. He even says in the scriptures that he knew us before this, this world. The one thing that we all have in common, if we can come to it, is the Christ that lives in us, that animates the light body being that we are. We've always been and we always will be. Boy, when I'd go in a church and tell them that, they throw me out. And especially if I tell them there's no heaven and there's no hell. They got to have their heaven and they got to have their hell. But it says clearly that flesh and blood can't inherit it and it actually means more than that. It means your name, your worldly name. I'm not Buddy Huggins. Y'all may call me Buddy Huggins. It's on paperwork that it's Buddy Huggins. But that's not who I am. When we drop down it from the carnal consciousness, which is death, into the real world of loving in our heart and knowing that we're a divine being and that we're loved deeply by our Father. We still walk the earth as Buddy Huggins and I still am going to pass away. This, this is body is not who I am. That's why I do what I do. I want to help people understand that Everything we've ever been told is a lie. Everything that they've ever told us is a lie. Not that they, well, now they're doing it maliciously. In other words, they're doing it to keep us from having peace. They're doing it from keeping us to stay asleep. And that's what the masses are doing. The masses of populations that you see out there are not real. There's never 
never ever been billions and billions of us. There's representations of the one Christ in many forms. But the ones that we are are very few in number. I don't know. J Tupelo Joe told me back when we were uh, together and going, you know, I was driving them to meetings and we were, you know, going back into churches they hadn't been in in 10 and 15 years. He told me that it, back then there was about a million of us that were Christ conscious beings. And he said uh, that once the fullness of this reality manifested into the collective, it would wake up the real bodies of Christ, the real manifestation of the sons of, of God. And he said that number he didn't know. But he said it could be 10 million of us. Well, if 10 million of us come into one mind and one accord, and we walk as Christ, and we believe with our heart that we can communicate love to everything, everything becomes lovable. We have power in numbers. So as I meet more Christ-conscious beings, whether it's on the phone or, or, you know, you text me and let me know who you are. We make a connection, and that makes me stronger, and it makes you stronger. It means that we can create our reality as a body of Christ-conscious beings a little quicker. It's still a slow train wreck. It still is not going to happen overnight. We're going through some really big tribulations coming up here pretty soon. And it's going to rock the world to its core. But that's needed to shock the people into questioning their reality. Because as long as they believe what the media tells them is truth, they can never hear their father's voice and actually awaken to the Christ consciousness that they are. They'll always think that they're poor, pitiful, miserable sinners and they're in need of a Savior. Well, I'm here to tell you that is a lie because it ain't going to happen that way. That's, that's the, been the way they kept us in separation and duality. Look at the motorcycles. That's a beautiful sound. There's a lot of bicyclists, uh, motorcycles ride this way. There's a lot of bicycles that are starting to ride this way. I encourage more and more of you to come this way. Stop here at Smyrna Church and pray. Pray to your Father. Pray for peace on earth. Pray for Trump. Pray that the Luciferian energy that's on earth is here to do exactly what it's doing to waken up the ones that can actually hear their father's voice and come into great peace. Their mind can become still. And we need 10 million strong. There's 100 million people voting for Trump probably. <laughs> that don't mean they're all awake, but what it means is they have the full potential of Christ consciousness living on the inside of them. If they accept that they are divine there will be no death death has no sting see when you get this you realize the body dies but you don't now why in the hell don't they teach that in church i don't know to this day i don't know but i know this i've always been and i always will be you can kill the body they can do whatever they want in this reality but I've already transcended. I've already lived in a state of being that passes all understanding. And I can do and have whatever I desire. <laughs> I just choose to live real humbly <laughs> and not, uh, you know, go off into believing in materialism. 
You're talking to a person that never owned a cell phone, never had a cell phone contract. You think I'm going to buy into digital currency and a, a social credit score? Hell no, I'm not complying. <laughs> I'm going to be who I am and I live free. And I'll die for that freedom for you. I'll defend it for you all the way to the grave because there is no death. I love all of you. Thank you for watching my channel. I got to get on down that road right there. <laughs> I got to go swimming. Y'all have a good one.